<clears throat> Hello everybody, my name is Kojo3, welcome back to the video, and today I'll be doing a review on the Nerf Stockade. The Nerf Stockade is a flywheel blaster, it holds 10 darts, it has one tactical rail on it, and the jam door slides out like that. That's pretty much it for all the basic functions. Also, it has a stock tower point, but my friend doesn't have the stock for it, so... No front barrel, but it does have this cool muzzle thing. Well, you can tell by this little knob right here, it was going to have a front barrel. Trust me, I know a lot about this stuff. I've never seen, like, a stock attachment point like this in actuality. So, yeah. And the other thing, flywheel? Where's the flywheel button? Well, you've seen flywheel triggers down here. So, this is, well, an older blaster. It's, like, one of the very few elites. Oh, does that even... Oh, yeah, it is elite. It's very old. It's a very old elite. There's this thing on the side. You flick it back. Oh, give me some... Yeah. Oops. Um... Oh, the thing's not shut all the way. Yeah. It says revving up, and then you flick it forward again to stop. Um, wondering. Also, you don't hear the jam doors click in. It won't rev. I want it fully fully open. Also, if you stupid to realize that it's open, there's a little um color. If it's green, the door's shut. When the door's open, it's orange. If that's stupid not to realize, and yeah. Um, other than that, no physical appearance. This stockade on this side. You only seen on Nerf Boy Productions a review of it like two years ago. But there's like no stockade coloring. I mean, it's all molded in the plastic, but yeah. A lot of this stuff is just molded on. It has one tactical rail, which I'm not sure what you put up there. Maybe like a shield. I do have only one thing that fits on a tactical rail that works. Is the Nerf Long Range Modular Scope, which I remember I did a review on. Um, I guess if I had like the stock for it, not another stock. So yeah, I don't have stock for it though. What's the point? So, um, uh, that's pretty much it about it. It's got a iron sight. You know, iron sights really don't help. Why would a scope help? <laughs> Nerf guns are very inaccurate. Um, handle's really nice. Feels like a, like a, like a retaliator or recon handle. Um, look at the, the jam door slides back like that. I really like the jam doors like this. Um, stock attachment point. That's it. The handle feels good. The trigger is really big. And, um, I'm wondering, if you pull the trigger like this, right, let me try that again. Try that again. Pull the revs down here. If you pull the trigger like this, and you stop firing your darts, you're doing it wrong. This actually acts like a pin to um, push the dart into the flywheels, so it shoots out. So, um, let's say I want to have a dart with me right now. So, I'm, um, uh, might remember from my re recon, or was that was a limited review, I actually just did shoot out of a dart. So, I'll be right back, I need to find one. So, yeah, you just take your elite dart, because I have an elite dart in there. It's best to work with elite darts. My tilt revs up, fully. Please aim, then, fire. That's pretty much it. It does come with 10 elite darts, and the stock holds 10, but it doesn't come with 20. As it came with 10, it comes with 10. It's better off to load the darts in. If you have extra darts, put them in the stock. You're gonna need them in the Nerf War. So, um, uh... Also, you can just rotate the cylinder normally. It's really weird to see a flywheel blast with a cylinder, kind of like a specter. But, who really cares? Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. So, um... Also, you cannot use the trigger. Or, well, it's not there because of reasons. Well, it's not, like, revved up for reasons. I think I already told you that. This is, um, Cover 3, signing off.